Hey there! I am Peter, from Mexico, really appreciate EPC Land for giving me this opportunity to present another topic. Let's begin with the explanations. Piping engineers and pipeline engineers are two professions that are often confused with each other, despite having some distinct differences. To understand these differences, it's essential to first define what piping and pipeline are. Piping refers to the system of pipes that are used to transport fluids, gases, or other materials within a facility, such as a refinery or chemical plant. Piping systems are used for a variety of purposes, including the transportation of raw materials, the distribution of fluids and gases within a facility, and the removal of waste products. Pipeline, on the other hand, refers to the system of pipes used to transport fluids, gases, or other materials over long distances, such as oil or gas pipelines that span hundreds of miles. Pipeline systems are used for the transportation of natural resources and are critical for the energy and manufacturing industries. While the two systems share some similarities, there are also some significant differences between them that require specialized expertise. Piping engineers are responsible for the design, construction, and maintenance of piping systems within a facility. This involves ensuring that the piping system is efficient, safe, and functional. Piping engineers must consider factors such as the materials being transported, the temperature and pressure of the fluids or gases, and the impact of the piping system on the environment. Pipeline engineers, on the other hand, are responsible for the design, construction, and maintenance of pipeline systems that span long distances. This involves considering a wide range of factors, including environmental impact, regulations, community engagement, and the safety of the pipeline system. Pipeline engineers must also have a strong background in risk assessment and project management as they are often working on large-scale projects that cross multiple state or national borders. In terms of the code standards used in the design of piping and pipeline systems, piping systems are usually designed based on ASME B31.1-B31.3 codes, while pipeline systems are designed based on ASME B31.4-B31.8 codes. When it comes to career options, neither piping nor pipeline engineering is inherently better. Both professions offer unique challenges and opportunities for those interested in the energy and manufacturing industries. The best career option for an individual will depend on their personal interests, skills, and goals. For individuals who enjoy hands-on design and construction work and have a strong technical background, a career as a piping engineer may be a good fit. Piping engineers typically work on smaller projects and have more direct involvement in the design and construction of pipelines within a single facility. For those who enjoy working on complex, large-scale projects and have a strong background in risk assessment and project management, a career as a pipeline engineer may be a good fit. Pipeline engineers are responsible for designing and constructing pipelines that span long distances, often crossing multiple state or national borders, and must consider a wide range of factors. In conclusion, while there are some similarities between piping and pipeline engineering, there are also some significant differences. The focus of the work scope is different for piping and pipeline engineers, and the code standards used in the design of piping and pipeline systems are also different. Ultimately, both careers offer the opportunity to make a positive impact in the energy and manufacturing industries, and both offer competitive salaries and opportunities for career growth. So, this is all about the comparison. Hope, you learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching, see you in the next video.